session number two. This is Brian speaking. Um, it is 12.10. We are in the kitchen. We're not here to harm you. Please make your presence known. Are you in pain? I heard a little bit before we heard that too. That's, him. That's, That's, him. Him. That's him trying to get inside. He said he was leaving. He said he was going outside to grab something. He yeah. did. He already came back in. Well, that's something we have to count for later on. Yes. I heard a whisper. I heard no. I heard whisper. No? I heard something come I heard in something in there that said, no, I'm not in pain, or something like no. I swear to God. Are you in like, pain? Talk. Lights out. Can you say it one more time? Outside. No, I heard something coming from the hallway. Sorry, there was a I heard something over there, but I, if there's, we also heard lots of noise that could have easily been something. I heard else. some whispering. No, Seriously, where was I it coming from? from it was here. coming from this area. I heard it from that hall. Yeah, me too. Is there anybody here? We're here to see you. Do you want to see us? Are you sad? Did you used to work here? Can you make a sound? A footstep? I don't want you to start asking. I'm going to start asking something since you guys are getting a lot of that too. Oh, okay. Go ahead. You guys ask questions. Is anybody here? I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to talk to you for a minute. Touch one of us. Touch me, please. <laughs> He's desperate. No, I'm desperate. He's a pervert. Actually, reverse psychology. Do not touch him. <laughs> How can you do it? The odds are even now. The odds are even. Let's chill right here for a little bit. Can you, uh... The door is spring door. Ordered, yeah. Uh, oops. Whoa, whoa! Dude. I did not even touch it. That was crazy. That, one, that, was, on try camera. To it? that was on that camera. That was on camera. You want to try it? Debunk try it? Try debunk it. Debunk it. Here. Try and rush at it and see if the... the, the what? Oh. It automatically oh, it's automatic it's once it gets back past a certain point. God damn it. Damn. But the thing is, it stayed open. Yeah, watch. Well, once it gets past a certain point, it springs it springs closed fast. Yeah, springs that scared the shit out of me, though. Me too. Me too, because I was like getting ready to push <laughs> that it. That was such good timing for it, too. Yeah. Hold on, here it comes. Yeah, oh. see. Well, there you go, debunked. Debunked. The door. Ugh. Too bad, I thought that was one right there. I wish we were better at finding ghosts than we were at debunking things. Mm -hmm. Anybody in here who'd like to communicate with us, please? Anybody like to sing? That's gotta be your friends outside. Does it have to have been outside? It sounded farther away then. Okay, if that was you, could you do that again, please? Okay. One more time. Mental mod to ask them outside if they tapped on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a lot of company sound. Share that. That's my open side. How was you? Okay. Do you believe in God? I'm really wanting to know if that's your friends out there. Do you want me to go out there and ask him? I can look through the window. What's that? I can look through the window and see. Okay, that's you making the thumping noises. Can you do that again, please? 
Scott getting up, making, walking out. Scott, I, think was I thought I heard him actually out front. Yeah, I don't think they're. Out front. I think they're out front on the porch. The question is, is there anybody back there? You see anyone, Scott? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's a. Uh, is that them making the pumping noises though? Um, I can't tell. There's something making noise up there. They're just standing there. Yeah, it's not them, it's somebody else. It's the ghosts that are communicating, I believe. Yeah, that's what we'll tell ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, too, being honest with yourself is the mm -hmm. best thing. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. Yeah. Okay, here we are in your office. Text message. How do you make that? That's from Mary. Oh, what's going on? Oh, oh. oh shit. Your phone. your phone doing that? Okay. Everyone's like, whoa, 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 whoa. It was Mary Lake, how much it reacted. Oh my god. Mm. Okay. Can't get rid of I it. found ghosts, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Please leave our house. Rebecca, are you recording? I am. Can you ask us your, can you tell us your name, please? Are you the little boy or the man that killed himself in here or that died in here? Can you tell us what year it is? Return to the Wolf Manor with the purpose of documenting more paranormal activities. Did you move the football for us? Like many other investigators, we search for the truth. Did you hear a female voice down here? Is this 80-year-old house haunted? Join us as we investigate the Wolf Manor. investigation we have split into two teams Pablo season and two guest investigators are in the kitchen while George Brian and I will be up in George's room the ZP session George's room team one George Jesus and Brian if there's anybody in this room who would like to communicate with us please go to the red light at the center of the room Is there anybody in this room who would like to communicate with us? Tap me more frequently. The radio twitch. And there is. Because I was counting it before, and it went like every 40 seconds or so, and then it was 15, and then it was like 12, and it was again. Yeah. But it's happening regularly, that's a thing. Would you like to ask any questions for me? Any questions, George? No. 
If there's any spirits here in this room or around, please make a noise. Please move something. Do you live in this house? That's just me right there. Do you want us to leave? There was a screeching noise from far outside. And a bad belt. Yeah, a screeching noise from far from outside. That's sort of a belt, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You don't know how to fix the cars. No screeching. No banshees here. Is anybody here watching us? Anybody here want us to leave? Hey, that's Radio Chatter. He's trying to call you. Pablo, have you been trying to call me? No, I haven't. Copy that. You know, what the hell was that then? We just picked up something on the radio chatter. No. I didn't hear anything other than what we've been hearing the entire time. No, but I heard something. I heard some static, and it was real, real low. I know I have to cut it on the camera, so I'll check it later. I'm yeah. going to leave it up here. The only thing about that is it's been making the same... It's been, been making the noise at the same volume the entire time, so it wouldn't make it wouldn't make sense for it to be playing. Yeah, Paul, go ahead. Female voice. No. No, we have not heard a female voice, man. No female voice. EVP session number one, kitchen, team two, I love this Pablo. Is there anybody that would like to communicate with us tonight? If you can, can you please come towards the red light or past the green light? Someone like to sing? Thank you. 
Yeah, it did. I hey, Sue. Did you hear a female voice down here? Nobody out here. We heard a voice out heard here. Someone over here by the entrance. It sounded like someone almost came in. Well, we're going back. We're going back to the kitchen. Yeah, it sounded like this. Pablo's team has heard a strange sound coming from the downstairs hallway. I wanted to take a closer look at the footage to see if there's any explanation for the noise. While there was a Wolfman or staff member in the hallway just before it happened, it is doubtful that she made that sound. Now, let's replay the footage. Notice that they have placed a K2 meter next to the football in the center of the kitchen. Now here is the footage from both cameras synchronized. The evidence we have already captured is promising, but the night is still young, and the spirits have more in store for us. Anybody like music here? Anybody want to sing for us? All right, wherever you are, this is your last chance. You want to show yourself?
Are you good spirit? Check on the doll, see if it moved an inch. Could you make a noise to let us know? Are you sad? Are you happy? Would you like us to leave? Mary, last time we came was about a month ago. Um, we thought we had heard you say, or asked us if you wanted us to sing for you. Is that what you would like? Someone else to sing? Watching us, if you are here. Please communicate to us through our radio. Are you a boy? Please touch the ball in the center of the room. Can you move it? Can you move it towards the wall? Are you in here with us? Can you sing for us? Brian? Can you uh, check my temperature real quick of my arm holding the camera? Yes. Here, come up to me and take your temperature, please. Yeah. I just feel a draft. I feel a draft coming up my arm sleeve, and dude, I'm wearing a thermal. Let's see. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Is it cold? That's 74, or no, it's dropping quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, 
do that. I, I just felt like a chill roll down my sleeve coming from right here. Roll down my sleeve. Um, well, there's windows over here. So. No, no, I've been holding this right here the whole time, and all of a sudden I just felt it. Dude, I'm wearing a yeah, I know. thermal and thermal and jacket. jacket. We heard you like to run. Can you run in front of this wall for us? Oh, That's a door closing. I don't know if it's Terry. Or I mean, Can you just check? Yeah, they're not outside anymore. Can I go ahead, Paul? Son of a bitch. Hey, check the... Yeah. Um, no, we're not paying. Um, all right, we actually already caught a big one. You can see. Nice. You got a Scott and Rebecca coming in. That was the the door. We're going to go down the basement and set up some items. All right, cool. And then we'll leave. Um, cheeseburger, tobacco, apples. Nice. Let's see what we can get. Cheeseburger. Scott and Rebecca's entrance may have startled us, but their presence is more than welcome. Join us for part three, when an unknown entity takes Scott and George on a wild goose chase. I think we over by the table, brother. So we went out the front door, we went around to see if there's kids. And Pablo's team catches the best EVP of the night. Oh, that is something right there. As we continue our investigation, George, Brian, and I have gone down to the basement to join Scott and Rebecca from Verify Paranormal. During our session, we kept hearing noises coming from the floor above us.
downstairs. Scott and George have decided to go up to the first floor and see if anyone is in the room above us while Pablo's team is two floors above us. We are unsure who or what is causing the noise. It's right here too, right? Huh? No, we're right here. On this side, you can see the windows when you're standing on the other side. So they're down here in the pink room. Okay, yeah. That's under here. That's production directly above the pink room. <coughs> <coughs> There's no wind. No, it doesn't even hit. something out and right when you call then we were like are you moving around uh -huh. right after that you hear a, <laughs> like a little like a, like a hiccup yeah. watch right. get this um, flashlight please you ready? you're gonna hear a suit okay now it's too early okay you're gonna hear Jesus call me Yeah. <laughs> Was that the radio beeping? No. No, that cannot be the radio beeping. No, you can hear the radio beeping. It's supposedly it's that room where the light shot shot off. I'm sitting in a chair right next to the door, and that's where it sounded like it was. So you from. hear the radio beep. Right. But then I swear it came from right next to us, and we even heard it. Yeah. Here's something. Yeah. So okay, try it one more time, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> like, and me and Susan heard it, we were like, right there to the hallway, so it's not like it wasn't open. And I said, that's going to the hallway, right? The it just has a lock on it. Yeah, yeah. we the gurney. That's where they broke up that group. Yeah. What? We had a group. You got that towards right? It's a premier yeah. group of Central California Pacific Paranormal <laughs> Society. I uh, went in that room with a board, a um, uh, board, not a Ouija, but an angel. Um, Something happened to them in that room. They not only have they never, ever 
going to do Ghost of Best Days again, and then I'm going to make another house. Wow, really? Yeah, I'm just kidding. So. Our investigation has been eventful, and what we have captured has prolonged our desire to investigate not only the Wolf Manor, but other places as well. Join us for part four as we take a closer look at the EVPs we've captured. The history of death in this place has attracted investigators from faraway lands. We were lucky enough to have this place close to home. As many before us, we've captured voices from these spirits. Now let's take a listen at these voices of the dead. Pablo's team captured this voice during their kitchen session. After careful analysis, I have determined the voice came from inside the kitchen. We have a little girl in here that likes to play. Could you move the football for us? It's right in the middle of the floor. Well, we can't see the their digital voice recorder is located next to the K2 meter. This is what it captured. At the same time, this is what our digital voice recorder caught during our session at George's room. Shortly after their kitchen session, they went down to the basement and caught this EVP at the start.
Just like before, the radio communication between me and Pablo resulted in another voice captured on their recorder. footage of the event, we have only the digital voice recorder evidence. Here is the original playback of the recording. After enhancing the audio, I have noticed a second giggle in the recording. Now, I will slow down the recording. Careful analysis of the recording clearly shows two giggles. Are these the giggles of the two child spirits known as Emily and Tommy who inhabit the Wolf Manor? As far as we know, these spirits are playful and mean no harm to the visitors of this place. Aside from the photo taking of a child apparition in the kitchen by other investigators, there is no visual evidence available. Maybe our third visit will be the charm. (laughs) 